you said in in 2016 you know, uh, lock her up. And then when you became president, you said, we don't do that in America. That's just not the right thing to do. That's yeah, what they're well. doing. Do you regret not locking her up? And if you're president again, will you lock people up? Well, I'll give you an example. Uh, the answer is you have no choice because they're doing it best. So what are Democrats and CNN so worried about? Well, they're worried about their own standards coming back to bite them, of course. In a recent profile, uh, General Milley raised the possibility that he thought if Trump was reelected, he would throw his opponents in jail. He said that he would be at the top of the list. Mm, that sounds good. I'll have that. Do you think that that's a real concern? And are you concerned that you could be on Trump's enemies list? Well, sure. Uh, I think there are probably uh, a lot of people uh, that are potentially uh, on such a list. You're damn right. Uh, and uh, again, that's uh, uh, that's reprehensible. Uh, are you serious right now? I, I think General Milley's comment was he didn't think Gen uh, President Trump would uh, be reelected. Well, I'm not so sure about that. So yeah, that's a that's a real concern for uh, for many of us. Yeah, that's a shame. It's totally cool for us to do these things, but kind of scary that others might do the same to us. First, Milley promised to tell our enemies if the U.S. would launch an attack. He basically coordinated with Z behind the back of our president. I can see why you're worried. Now, just before an election, Trump and everyone around him are being indicted with an endless list of charges, while Biden and his family get the help of corrupt ghouls like James Clapper here to avoid trouble and win elections. That right there is the dangerous lack of self-awareness I'm always warning you about. But is that really really what we're watching here? Or is this just some CCP level gaslighting propaganda? The fact CNN is paying a disgraced former tyrant who lied about the government spying on American citizens in order to now gaslight us into saving their asses from justice is beyond absurd. They also never mentioned that Clapper was just hired by Joe Biden to serve on his DHS board of directors. Nothing deceptive about that. Biden is quite literally jailing his political opponents right now and has has been since he took office. While Democrat rioters get their charges dropped, the January 6th protests get the gulag, and government agent provocateurs get a slap on the wrist for the media. While powerful Democrats like Joe Biden and Hillary Clinton get the help of corrupt DOJ, FBI, and IRS operatives. While his biggest opponent, Donald Trump, gets comically insane amounts of ridiculous charges piled on just before an election. Something that would never ever stand if it were happening the other way around, and we all know that. James Clapper said that the failed coup known as the Russian collusion investigation was worse than Watergate. James Clapper lied to Congress while under oath about the NSA spying on Americans, yet somehow avoids charges. Because they own this fucking place. It's a big club. And you ain't in it. Copper then lied about Hunter Biden's laptop being Russian disinformation in order to sway the election in Biden's favor. Which I thought we called election interference, but I'm sure it's different when he does it. The guy is pure evil and he hates you. When people talk about tyrannical government, they're talking about James Clapper. I kid you not, he and another disgraced liar, John Brennan, are setting up a shadowy intelligence group called the Intelligence Experts Working Group, which states as its goals, experts group to provide advice and perspectives on intelligence and national security efforts to the Office of Intelligence and Analysis and the Office of Counterterrorism coordinated to support DHS vital work to protect our country. I feel safe for all of you. Yes, protecting America by suppressing real news and news agencies so you can manipulate the election in favor of your guy. Much like the last Ministry of Information that tried to take root, led by a prolific spreader of disinformation, this new offshoot appears to be the same, filled with partisan liars who are looking for any reason to suppress their opponents. As usual, we see Democrats and their state media mouthpieces flailing because the standards they held their opponents to might come back to bite them. Oh, well, we will want that now. There's a lot of problems with Trump, but if he promises to hold these actual threats to democracy accountable, he's got my vote. All right, folks, that's all I have for that one. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.